They're repulsive, persistent, and they both have a taste for blood. Two petrifying pests are ready to settle the score when it comes to the most horrifying house guest. Will the ferocious fleet of fleas come out on top? Or will Team Bedbug turn your life into a waking nightmare? It's fleas versus bedbugs. Have you ever woken up to an itch? Scratching at your ankle, you realize you're bleeding. Uh-oh, you've got bug bites. An infestation is invading your space. But which vampire vermin are you dealing with? Let's meet our competitors. First up are the formidable fleas. These tiny terrors love furry mammal hosts like cats and dogs but they'll gladly take a bite out of you, too. Starting 165 to 290 million years ago, between the Permian and the Jurassic periods, that's when fleas first began consuming animal blood. Oval-shaped and measuring in at one to three millimeters in length, these reddish-brown bugs are minuscule but mighty. They may not be able to fly, but their incredible jumps make up for it. Fleas can leap up 15 centimeters and out 33 centimeters, making traveling a breeze. In one day, fleas can consume 15 times their weight in blood and lay 40 to 50 eggs. Yeah, these bugs don't waste any time when it comes to invading your home and your body. Our next competitors don't respect your personal space either. They're the beastly bedbugs. Emerging over 100 million years ago, bedbugs may have latched onto bats first, although researchers suggest they had an earlier host. Bedbugs prefer human hosts, and they'll zero in on one person at a time when it comes to feeding habits. They even have favorite body parts, like your neck or face. Drinking six times their weight in blood and laying just one egg per day, these tiny seven millimeter pests can camouflage their flat, seed-shaped bodies to blend in with their surroundings. Though they aren't agile or able to fly, bedbugs can crawl an impressive 30 meters in a single night steadily covering ground to further their invasion. Okay, here's the thing about bedbugs. They aren't necessarily the result of a dirty or city environment. When bedbugs are looking for a place to set up shop, they've got two conditions, a warm and moist area. What? Are you serious? These two terrors may share common interests in sucking your blood and destroying your home, but only one will disgust you the most. Fight! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, these uninvited guests have made themselves at home. Let's talk about infiltration. Bedbugs are expert hitchhikers riding on your luggage and clothes in an attempt to join your family. Their hairy legs and feet make them incredible climbers and allow them to latch onto almost anything. The sneaky bedbugs then disperse into any crevice they can find, including furniture, wallpaper, and your bed. Fleas can invade your home in the same ways as your competitors, but they like to crank it up a notch by clinging onto what you love most, your pets. Oh, that's a low blow. Now, to really get your skin crawling, bedbugs leave small, wealth-like marks in itchy lines or clusters. Even freakier, these bites don't appear right away and may not cause symptoms. Carbon dioxide attracts bedbugs and you release it from your body, especially while sleeping. Now, thanks to a numbing anesthetic in their saliva, their bite won't even wake you. An anticoagulant also stops the bite from bleeding. It's only after your body's histamine response kicks in 
that you'll start to feel an itch. Now, flea bites appear alone or in clusters, causing severe irritation. Fleas will target your legs and ankles, and just about anywhere on your furry friends. Their bites cause concern as fleas can spread parasites and diseases like cat scratch fever and typhus. And it gets worse. In the 14th century, fleas spread Yersinia pestis, the bacteria responsible for the bubonic plague. After feeding on infected rodent's blood, the fleas carried the deadly disease to humans. It killed 25% of Europe's population. Okay, by now you're probably itching to learn how to get rid of these two. Well, to eliminate bed bugs, a deep clean is in order. A heavy infestation means throwing out your mattress, sofa, and bedding. Removing clutter and cleaning every corner is essential to a successful eviction. Professional fumigation or heat treatment by a professional is often necessary too. Bed bugs have developed some resilience to insecticide, but they don't stand a chance against enough heat or cold. High temperatures around 50 degrees Celsius and low temperatures around minus 18 degrees Celsius will kill bed bugs and their eggs. After a bed bug infestation, the feeling of uncertainty can have lasting psychological effects. A flea infestation requires treating your home, yard, and pets. It can take weeks to get rid of them. Flea treatment for pets requires time, effort, and a vet's help. All products and treatment methods require regular doses, and you'll have to carefully wash or dispose of your pet's beloved toys and bed. Aww. These time-consuming and costly methods may not even be fully effective. Fleas have a one to four week long pupil stage, and their silk-like cocoon protects them from insecticides. A clean sweep and chemical fumigation may only destroy adult fleas and their eggs, while hundreds of pupae lay in waiting. Yeah, this bug's ick impact is off the charts. The fleas win! Bed bugs have earned their revolting reputation by terrorizing our beds, bodies, and minds. Luckily, their bites are mostly harmless and we can eliminate most infestations. But fleas survive in multiple environments and their bites can spread diseases. But hold on, before the bed bugs tap out for good, let's see how they'd fare against another skin-crawling contender. Cockroaches. We'll see who wins on another round of Versus.